It might be summer break, but students at Indiana University South Bend are still hard at work. Many are working on research projects and collaborating with professors. Joining us this morning to tell us all about the summer student projects occurring at IUSB is Dr. Riss. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning on Hometown Living. Thank you for having me. So like we said, summer break is just, you know, a time to relax, but your students are still working. Yes. So talk to us about these projects that these students are working on. Yes, so um, I don't think a lot of people think of IU South Bend as a big research school, but we actually do quite a bit of research and most of it we do during the summertime. And uh, what's really nice is that we have a lot of opportunities for our students to get paid to do research during the summertime. Wow. Yeah. And in my department in, uh, at IU South Bend in the chemistry and biochemistry department, we're working on a project in my lab specifically to develop uh, new biosensors. Mm -hmm. So we work with proteins that we get from uh, bacteria, friendly bacteria, right. <laughs> and then we uh, re-engineer these proteins so that we can turn them into biosensors for things that are interesting like uh, glucose, for example, which is part of uh, blood sugar, mm -hmm. but also some things like uh, environmental pollutants like uh, glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in uh, Roundup, the, the weed killer that you might use. So hopefully we can use these uh, proteins excuse me, these uh, biosensors to be able to detect these uh, molecules in our environment. Yes. Yeah. So talk to us about, you know, what does a day look like for these students when they're coming in? Because they're working hard, Dr. Risk, right? <laughs> they are, yes. So usually you come in in the morning and then we have a, a short meeting. We talk about our day. We talk about what we're going to do. And then uh, we really just kind of explore different ways to, to learn new tools about you know, the proteins that we're studying. We use really high-tech machines that we have at, uh, on campus that are dedicated for research. And what's really interesting is that we also tie teaching to research. So a lot of our courses are research-based. So the students sign up for the class, but they end up with a research experience that they can take on to the next level in their career. Yeah, and you're a professor at IUSB, a part of the chemistry and biochemistry department. Yeah. So talk to us about your role and what you do. You know, what do you want your students to learn from yes. you? Yeah, so actually, before I was a student at IU South Bend, I was actually a student at IUSB a oh, long time ago. Oh, wow, okay. I graduated from IUSB back in 2000, and then I went on to graduate school at Duke University. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I started learning about research when I was at IU South Bend, and it really changed my life. And that's what I hope to bring to our students, is really uh, being able to really work on something new, something innovative, something that nobody else has ever yeah. done before to inspire them to be able to change the world that way. Yeah, and they're really inspired because their work are starting to get like published. Absolutely. Right, yes. so talk to us about that, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, so we, we often have a lot of our students on uh, publications and, and you know, uh, as authors on publications, we've, either, we've even had a couple of students as co-inventors on patent applications. Wow. So this is really active research and what's really nice is about these opportunities that they have for funding that uh, because of our small class size on campus, they don't have to compete with hundreds or, or thousands of students for these uh, right. opportunities. Uh, it's much easier for them to get, and they get to work close with us as professors, learn something new that they can take on to their career, whether they're going into the medical field, the biotech, or the chemical industry, uh, or getting a graduate degree. Yeah, and you know, how does IUSB prepare students for life after college. You know, they're already getting their work published now. So, I mean, what's next for them, right? Yes, yeah, so what's really great is, uh, you know, IUSB has a very diverse uh, uh, student body. And a lot of our students uh, have taken a lot of science classes before they came to IU South Bend. But then also some of our students have never met a scientist before. Wow. And so what's really wonderful is having that diversity in our student body. And I know that when I went to graduate school, I was definitely not the smartest person, yeah. but I was the most well-prepared. And this mm -hmm. is kind of the legacy that I want to keep going on at IU South Bend, is making our students be the most prepared as they go on to the next level. Yeah, and what would you say is the best part about being a professor at IUSB and working along with your students? Oh boy, <laughs> there's so much to choose from. But really my favorite is that interaction with the students. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I went to college at IU South Bend, mm -hmm. I fell in love with college, yeah. and I feel like I never left. Right. And, and that's really the best part of the job. Yeah, it's is, a full circle moment, right? Absolutely. Yes. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Dr. Risk, for joining us this morning on Hometown Living. We're going to get this pulled up on the screen so the viewers can have more information. Wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> viewers, check out your screen, IUSB. You can visit their website at southbend.iu.edu or you can give them a phone call at 574-520-4872 and you can check them out on Facebook and Twitter.